There is one tool in TubeBuddy that once I started using it actually paid for my TubeBuddy subscription for me. And that's what I'm going to be talking about in this video. And I'm going to be sharing with you how I used it so that you can understand how you might want to do the same. Uh, and it can maybe help you out generating a little bit more revenue for uh, your channel and whatever you're doing around your channel. So let's get straight on into it, shall we? And I'll break the suspense. The tool is, drum roll please, it is the find and replace tool. I know it doesn't really sound too glamorous, does it? But it really has helped me a lot. So let's look at what we can do with it and uh, specifically what I did with it to generate some extra revenue for the channel. So uh, first of all, let me show you where to find this. We're in the YouTube studio in our content section. And here up at the top, we've got the bulk and miscellaneous tools. Uh, and the first one on the list actually in here is bulk video processing. And we've got find and replace text. We've also got thumbnail overlays, which we'll be talking about a little bit later as well but we're going to start here with the find and replace text so how is it that this managed to pay for my TubeBuddy subscription for me well for the first 150 videos that I did on YouTube I would guess it was around there I don't remember exactly the number but it was something like that my uh, my descriptions I hadn't really put a huge amount of thought into them I put thought into what I was putting into my main description for the actual video um, but I certainly wasn't filling them up with the potential of 5,000 maximum characters that you can have in there uh, what you'll notice in my uh, descriptions now, if I open any one of these particular videos, uh, we've got the sort of main video description up here uh, and something related to it. Um, but this bit down at the bottom is actually text with things like, um, you know, my uh, my store, take1tech.io slash store, a uh, place for people to put consultation calls with me, take1tech.io slash consultation. It makes sense really to have all of these links down here so that, you know, if anyone's watching and wants to get in touch, wants to, uh, you know, have a chat about anything, then there are ways for people to do that. I also realized that people were interested in the sort of gear that I was using as well. Uh, and so I do have a link down here for, you know, different gear that I'm using. Uh, and what the point about this was, I wasn't having this in the description when I first started my channel. And at some point I saw somebody else doing this. So I just basically thought that's a great idea. I'll have to do start doing that going forward. But as I say, I had got uh, 150 or some odd videos that were uh, that were already up there. So what I wanted to do was add in all of that extra information and also all of those affiliate links into all of my, uh, my videos descriptions for those that existing content so that is where the uh, find and replace comes in it's really simple to use it can do more than this as well actually which I'll come to in a little while but uh, it can do more than this but we can just click on to find and replace uh, and it can be as simple as uh, find text so all I did was I did look for the uh, sort of stock um, uh, template I was using rather for my descriptions and there was a bit of text in there it just wasn't as complete as it is now so I just did a simple search for that particular piece of text uh, and then I added in the replacement text and by the way this box looks a couple of lines deep but you can just add in you know up to the 5,000 characters if you wanted although that wouldn't leave much space for anything would it um, so I did a, a replace with all of the the, uh, the links, uh, all of the you know the little emojis and stuff like that that I'd got in there as well. Uh, wrote that all out and then just pasted it into here the replace text. Then you can do things with uh, search. Uh, so for example, look for things that are case sensitive. So you can include that. You can include. Uh, include partial word matches as opposed to complete matches um, and then you can also search in titles or descriptions so I am talking now about an example where I did it in just the descriptions um, however this is also a great way if you want to go and update titles you can just do it exactly the same way uh, as well uh, and then uh, once you click on uh, continue all it's going to do is just bring out all of the different matches it will tell you the videos where there is a match uh, and then you just click on uh, <laughs> basically go uh, and it then takes the time to go away and add in all of these different um, uh, uh, replacement text into all of your descriptions or into your titles um, it takes a little while I'm talking like a few minutes or something like that uh, but it's certainly uh, a few minutes that you're not spending and it's also uh, saving you you know a lot more time than a few minutes because to actually go into every single video uh, and replace all of that text would certainly be uh, a lot <clears throat> harder and longer uh, job to actually do that so that was the uh, first thing that I did with this particular tool and I added in all of my Amazon links. Now what I actually got out of that was I got a tenfold increase on 
click-throughs to my Amazon affiliate links because I previously I did have a gear page on my website where I listed all the gear that I use and I'd have my Amazon affiliate links for all of those different items that I use and recommend um, and then if I was doing a video about a specific piece of uh, you know gear my mic or something like that I would have a link to it in the description then um, but I didn't have this sort of almost you know a complete high level uh, gear list down in the description itself uh, so I did get a 10 fold increase in traffic through to my uh, my Amazon uh, affiliate links uh, and then from that that generated revenue which has actually covered the cost of the uh, <laughs> the actual um, uh, TubeBuddy subscription. Now I should say that this is not something that's available on the pro plan which is the lower plan it's on star or legend um, but yeah it's certainly uh, if you look at the cost of the star and the legend plan uh, it's certainly if you're you know generating traffic and have got views on your um, your page then it may be something that you might want to uh, to consider there uh, i'll just mention again <laughs> if you're not use, using tubebuddy uh, take one tech.io slash tubebuddy uh, link in the description for this as well that is my uh, my affiliate link and that's one of the best ways to help out the channel uh, is to uh, is to use the affiliate links down below if it is something that you're interested in checking out for yourself um, so that is a basic find and replace just finding a piece of text and then adding in some uh, some text in its place We've also got some other options in here though. So we can either um, insert after text or insert before text. Um, you've also got remove or delete text. So if there is a, say for example, you've got a particular link or something in your description that you want to just completely remove, it's you know a dead link or something like that, you can just go and delete that. Um, add text to end of descri uh, description or insert text at beginning of description or replace entire description. So uh, there's different things you can do there. Um, but this one in particular, insert text at beginning of description. This is one that I've used recently when I launched my Ecamm Live Masterclass, uh, ecamlivemasterclass.com, <laughs> uh, to tell you everything from beginner through to expert of using Ecamm Live. Um, and link to that is in the description. Uh, when I uh, launched that, I wanted to, uh, because I've got over 80 videos, uh, in fact, probably over 90 now on my site related to Ecamm Live, um, I wanted to basically go through so that anyone who's coming back and watching those videos, uh, you know, after I launched the masterclass, uh, I could leave a link to it. So I actually went through and used this sort of prepend option to insert text at the beginning of the description. So now at the beginning of all of my Ecamm Live videos, I've got a little bit of text that says, you know, if you want to learn more about Ecamm Live in a structured manner, uh, then check out the Ecamm Live masterclass masterclass uh, lifetime access for just $149 and includes over $150 worth of bonuses too. So uh, I added in some words to that effect. Um, and so I added that into all of my uh, my uh, Ecamm Live videos. So it saved me a whole bunch of time in, you know, I certainly wouldn't have necessarily had the time to go back or wouldn't have made the time realistically to go back and physically add that in, you know, going into a video, editing it, pasting in the text, coming out, going into the next one and so on. Uh, it would have taken quite a long time. And for sure, that has driven people to the Ecamm Live Masterclass and has driven sales. So it's definitely been worthwhile from that perspective. Um, so really, although this is quite a you know simple function, really find and replace, it's not particularly complex at the end of the day, is it? From a you know a, a <laughs> just written on paper. However, it has been quite powerful for me in terms of generating revenue from the for the channel um, and also just as I say saving me a bunch of time which is what TubeBuddy does really well if you value your time uh, then yeah TubeBuddy is <laughs> definitely something worthwhile now I mentioned uh, the thumbnail overlays so with thumbnail overlays you can actually add a you know an image or a partial image over the top of your existing thumbnails that you've got on your site uh, on your sorry on your <laughs> your YouTube channel I should say uh, and so I'm gonna be talking about that tool in the next video so that you can learn how to use it and also discover what it can do for you.